What is going on, you orange flavored motherfuckers? Ricky here once again. If you don't get that, go and watch the latest one bar rage quit episode I did. Uh, leave a linky links in the description. You guys go watch it. It's hilarious. If you guys don't know, I all those episodes are going up on Ivan's channel or the end or whatever you know him by Mexican. Yeah. So I'll just leave a link down in the description. You can go watch it. And that is probably one of the best episodes we've done yet. It's hilarious. So yeah, getting that out of the way now. Boom. Let's talk about some Black Ops now because there is some things I've been playing now. I got the, uh, what am I, uh, halfway through the first prestige, going on the second one, getting close to it. So I'm getting kind of my handles on the game, finding out what's good, what's bad, what blows, what rocks my socks. And uh, what's rocking my socks right now, it's not a gun, it's not an attachment, it's not a, well, uh, yeah, it is a perk. Spoiler, it's a perk. Tack mask. I know what you guys are thinking. They're like, wait, ghost? It's not a uh, flak jacket? Even though I would say flak jacket is probably my second favorite perk, but if you want to get a class to where this game will not annoy you at all, for the most part, is because the main problem that I have with this, the game itself, like the actual gameplay, is shock charges. Shock charges and bouncing betties are one of the most annoying things in this game. Now I'm not saying it's like game breaking or, oh, this game sucks because of it. It's just one of the annoying things because every game has it, that one little thing that just bugs you. And shock charges and um, bouncing betties annoy me because for bouncing betties, I feel like they're not as noticeable as they were in Modern Warfare 3. Like if there's a bouncing betty, I f I don't, it's, this might not be true, but I feel like they shot up slower and they're more noticeable or whatever. And for shock charges, I can't use them to save my life. To be honest, I don't know how people like get me with those so well. But I can't use them to save my life. But I run into them every five seconds if I don't have a uh, tack mask on. And if you don't know what tack mask is, it virtually renders all uh, secondary uh, grenades like uh, flashbang, concussions, um, shock charges. It pretty much renders them all useless because what it will do, it'll go and it'll flash you. Like, it'll go off in front of you. But it won't do anything, honestly. Like... I don't know if there's been perks like this in previous Call of Duties. I, I'm not. I don't really remember any off the top of my head. But this, the uh, attack mask will save your life so many times. I like. I will even go to say it'll boost. If you like, keep track of it. It'll boost your KD by at least point ten point or yeah, point ten points. That's a tongue twister. But because why, why I say this is because alone from it being annoying and like it helping you not getting shocked or concussed or <laughs> flashed or whatever it um it makes it so like say you're behind a corner or something some guy throws a shock charge or something around the corner and you get flashed and it gives the guy that threw it a hit marker and he's like oh this is going to be easy not knowing that you're fine and it really didn't do anything to you it gives you that like element of surprise for the guy to come around the corner and be like herp a derp shoot this guy and you're just like boom you're dead so that's probably, Tack Mask is one of the best perks in this game, in my opinion, because it's, I don't really see a lot of people using it. A lot of people will go more so for Dexterity or Marathon or whatever the other perks are. Uh, like I said, Flak Jacket is a really good combination with that because it helps you not worry so much about the grenades and all that because there are a lot of explosives in this game. And you can literally, you have to be, with Flak Jacket, you literally have to be like holding a grenade to die from a grenade and I don't die from bouncing Betty's unless you're like you stay there like if you're just gonna jump on top of a bouncing Betty then you might die I'm not 100% sure on that but if you're just running by one and you're just a little late to totally get out of the way or duck or whatever I would highly recommend using a uh, flak jacket but definitely give tack mask a try out because it will definitely save save you a lot of frustrations because I know those shock charges are fucking annoying at times and everybody wants to throw one down everywhere they go like if you go on the B flag boom there's a that, that's one thing that's kind of annoying like all you have to do is throw a shock charge down at B someone runs by B boom they're taking B kill them instantly and it's it's yeah I, I wouldn't say it's cheap because there's always a counter to it but definitely um attack mass will p <laughs> will piss people off using all that shit and so uh, so far for guns or whatever that I'm liking and this is just of right now because I'm prestiging and getting in the process of all that. Um, the SMC, what I'm using right now, is a very good submachine gun. I permanently unlocked the Scorpion Evo because I have all the shit unlocked for that, and it's a really good gun. Uh, one one setup that I would recommend for the Scorpion Evo is getting ra <laughs> a combination of these. If you use any combination of these, it'll work. Accepting 
the rapid fire if you're gonna throw a rapid fire on it you need to have extended mags because it blows through ammo so fast but it kills people super quick um so what i was using is uh, and the, i'm pretty sure this can go for any submachine gun you can use a long barrel which extends the range and the damage a little bit um a grip to reduce since it's a submachine gun reduce the uh, kickback of it and then rapid fire and or extended mags kind of your personal personal preference you can use the wild card to get the third attachment on it and that's kind of what I've been running right now and I've been having a lot better success I'm keeping my win-loss ratio is probably the best in any other Call of Duty because I I'm winning a decent amount of games and I'm not rage quitting all the time so I think I got like a 1.6 win-loss I think I don't know and the one point about the same with KD and KD is like fluctuating because I'm trying new guns I'm sure once I get a hold of how the game plays and it isn't like they're not changing shit and it, it'll go up or down or whatever so yeah um some more zombies content is definitely coming up I'm gonna be I'm trying I'm having some technical issues that's why I, uh, the zombie video isn't going up right now is that I'm trying to go and get a good grief mode live com with some see how that can go I did one and the video file got all fucked up because you got to keep in mind I'm running with a laptop it's not, it it can handle most of the stuff I do, but then there's always these like when I'm trying to record and do a live commentary, it kind of fucks up sometimes. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a rating because I greatly appreciate it. Sharing maybe a few tips. I'm not like yeah, this is, you're gonna be awesome at Black Ops 2 now. This is just my opinions on what works and it's been working for me. So leave a rating if you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment. We'll always bro out. If you have any questions about my channel, anything like that, Black Ops 2, what I've been using, leave it down there. We can talk and bro out. And uh, like I said, don't forget to check out the One Bar Rage Quit podcast because it'll make your shit bricks because it's so fucking funny. Um, and yeah, if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.